know that you remain When the road changes course My compass, your voice And you will not lead me Somewhere you've never been As you go before me You will lead the way When you say to follow I won't be afraid Cause Jesus What an honor to cast on these crowns What a privilege to lay my life down Cause I know Thank you so much for joining me on Zoom um, to talk about You Remain. What a great song. Yeah, we're glad to be here. Yeah, Thanks it's great to be here. Elissa, where are you calling in from? I am calling in from Denver, Colorado. It looks <laughs> beautiful. It is. It's perfect this morning here. Well, I'm jealous. We're in a heat wave in, in Nashville, so we're all hiding from the outdoors right now. Same in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, all right. So with You Remain, this song, it, it, it took me by surprise, I think, a little bit the first time I heard it because it starts musically. And um, maybe you would disagree with me, but musically, it sounds so um, there's like this um, level of joy and excitement and hope in the in the beginning of the music. And then that first mm -hmm. verse comes in. And it's so the opposite of joyful. It's like, oh, there's a little, there's a little pain here. 
Um, would y'all talk to me um, just about the journey of writing You Remain? For sure. You want to start, Alyssa, or you want me to? <laughs> um, you start, and then I'll go. Okay. Um, well, originally, this song was called the Denver Song, so I feel like it's very appropriate that Alyssa right now is in Denver. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I remember Alyssa bringing the song to me, um, and where were we, Alyssa? In my little garage apartment? Yeah, I remember I was here again, actually, in Denver, and then I came back to Dallas and brought you the song in your, like, back house when you still lived in Dallas. Yeah, and I just remember she was contemplating at that time, um, to lay down, and, like, not lay down, but, like, moving to, uh, upper room Denver, you know, which, you know, in mm -hmm. Dallas, everything was happening and it was just like this beautiful, sweet time and her, you know, and it was like to lay that down and go somewhere kind of remote starting all over again was mm -hmm. a real challenge. So she was, she was just, that was part of your process, right? Like you were writing that yeah. like seasons change and all this stuff, but Lord, you're the one, you know? And so yeah. I remember us processing in, in, in mm -hmm. that little back studio and, uh, and then I remember writing that bridge together and we were both just mm -hmm. like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> when yeah. I see your face, I wish I'd be more <clears throat> away. I'm sure there were so mm -hmm. many tears in writing this song. Yeah. And then I feel like I had no idea in that moment we were writing from her place, you know, of like, okay, what's this look like to just follow the Lord, even when it doesn't make sense. And when it seems like everything should make you stay. Um, and then not knowing that that same thing was going to happen to me, where the Lord mm -hmm. was asking me to lay down the upper room, which was one of the hardest things that I've ever done. Mm -hmm. um, Cause it really did feel like my baby, <laughs> you know, like my, my people, my friends, my life, like we'd put so much blood, sweat, tears, laughs, you know, all the things into it, creating together. And then to say like, okay, now I want you to um, lay it down. And so it became like, I remember yeah, the Lord tough. gave me, a year to process. Mm -hmm. And in that time, like I remember in the prayer room, just like singing that little, when I see your face, I wish I'd given more away. <laughs> just, I think I cried more tears mm -hmm. to that song than ever, but it was such, it gave me such life and hope. Like it was okay. like, you'll never regret the things you give to God. And I can mm -hmm. have full hope that if I give something away to him, that it's worth it all. Yep. And so that's mm -hmm. kind of, it was my anthem in a time of craziness. I love it. It's such a good perspective shift, I think too, because so many, uh, so many of us, when we walk through these big faith journeys, we almost act like it's a sacrifice to, to give, you know, the thing that we love, you know, our Isaac or whatever we're, we're, uh, we're, God's asking us to give up. We act like it's this big sacrifice and I'll do it, but it's really hard. Um, but once once y'all get to the bridge in the song, and I think that's where I really, any church worship leaders that are listening, I would say like, this is such a good song to lead in your church. And when you guys get to the bridge, it really, it reminded me of the parable that Jesus told the man that goes into the field and um, mm -hmm. finds the treasure. Mm -hmm. And what a, what a different shift because all of a sudden everything was worthless compared to this treasure that he'd found. Yes. Um, whereas we so often go, okay, yeah, God, I guess I'll do it, but it's a really big sacrifice. And we're kind of looking back at what we used to have or where we used to be. Mm -hmm. um, this song shifts my mindset into more of a kingdom mentality. And I think that's so good for leading our people in worship. It's like such a good teaching moment um, to really create an opportunity for someone to say, Oh, it's actually, it's, it's a joy. It's a joy to get to do this, to make this sacrifice. It, it's a joy that I would be counted worthy to make the sacrifice for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I think too, that's an interesting part about this song because like, I remember it was so weird to me to have felt the Lord be like, Hey, will you go to Denver? Um, and serve at the prayer room there right as like literally I got the call that Michael W. Smith wanted to record surrounded so it just didn't make sense that I would leave momentum you know where it's like all this momentum in a sense finally starts to happen and then 
it's like, wow, I'm supposed to go somewhere else, <laughs> you know? And I think it, it was definitely for me as well, that refining season of I'm not living for now. And I can forget that, that everything I'm doing needs to happen now or it's for today. And it, this song helps remind me that I'm living for eternity. And the choices I make now actually affect where I'm going rather than everything I make now just needs to happen now. Does that make sense? And yep. so I think I agree with you, Tara. With like, it, even for me, it, it was like, a. I think me and Meredith, our eyes got so big. They started watering. We were like, what did we just say? But we knew it was like, this is the truth that our hearts need right now of, oh yeah, I'm living for the day where I see him face to face and I don't want to have any regrets, you know, and we're human and I, I will, you know, there's no perfect way to live. Only Jesus did that. But if there's a key of surrender where like, what if I got to him and there was this, like, I know I at least tried, (laughs) you know? Um, But anyway, I think it's just a part of the process for me of that song where I was sitting in this house, actually, like crying, like, why am I here? But other than I know you told me to come. So anyway, I think it has that eternal, again, with that eternal perspective too. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, you know, you said in the beginning that there's this kind of joyful thing going and then it's like, it goes into this, you know, seriousness of what we're saying. But I think it, it is that, you know, it's like, you realize I've never regretted when I've, when the Lord's asked me to give something. And, and I've mm-hmm. given it, you know, I've never regretted that. And I know that eternally, when we go get to see him and we're like, Hey, I trusted you when it didn't make mm-hmm. sense. And everybody said, nah, you know, you don't have to mm-hmm. do that, you know, <laughs> and to get to see his joy to be like, you're the eternal reward that I have gained. And like, in that process is just like, Oh, totally. it makes me cry, you know, like in, in the most in a tearful, joyful tears, you know, because it is like, it really became an honor like you said, versus it being a sacrifice. Of course, there's a sacrifice, but at the same time, mm-hmm. it's an honor to be able to do that and get to know we gain him and his joy within it. Yep. Mm-hmm. I love this that. song seems to encompass a little bit too of, of Philippians 3, where it's like, everything I gained, I now count as loss for the prize of Christ Jesus. So I press forward, you know, and I think that, that was a scripture too. I was meditating on in that season of like, can I count everything, all of this momentum up to this point as loss for the sake of knowing him. And so I think too, it was just, we were all in this crazy place and yeah. And then Meredith, like, I don't know, she's just been a huge part of upper music and so to this day anything that you hear it's because of the foundation that her and her husband laid for us and so when they were leaving it as soon as we wrote this song it was like what are you doing <laughs> like <laughs> no why, why are but you there was an understanding too of like oh you know you have to go you know but you have to if, if you say that message you have to follow it <laughs> yes ah, I have to live out what I'm singing <laughs> exactly exactly ah. if you haven't already you eventually will so buckle up friends <laughs> yes exactly well guys thank you so much for taking the time chatting with us telling us the heart behind the song I was really just personally encouraged by it you know I think all of us have different um just waves to our our walk with God and our family is walking through right now a season that is so, uh, it, I mean, I love it. Like I, like we've talked about, it's, I count it as such a joy where God's asked us to, to do something really big and we did it. And then obviously everything, life just got really hard. And so mm-hmm. now we're walking through this season going, okay, God, we actually, I, I counted as a joy that he would call us mature enough to yeah. mm-hmm. call us to do something hard. And then wow. we wouldn't see an immediate reward from it. And mm-hmm. so it's growing our relationship with him and growing our faith with him. And as I was listening to the song this morning, um, it was just a huge encouragement to me. Um, and I know it'll be a really big encouragement to the church as well. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely, yeah. guys. Well, thanks for jumping on with us. Thank you for having of us. Of course, Jesus, what an honor.